What's up, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop on this rainy Sunday, but we here. So, you guys know I bring you stories, educational information. Shout out to my boys, man, Polo, Leon, and uh, Cousin Felix. We did a nice couple of ventures uh, in the Campo. Went to some mountain pool party. It was wild. I'll definitely throw a couple of videos at the end of that of the drive and a couple of things we were doing. But shout out to those guys. Like I told you, I could show you more than this trip, show you more than this sewer, man. There's a lot going on, and I love traveling this country. So, um, the story of, let's call him Norman. Norman was a working class guy from the States, came down on vacation to DR, let's say Sasua. And, uh, you know, he's out having a good time and just meeting people. So I guess Norman's, you know, a regular guy, maybe a little lonely in the States, who knows. So he meets this couple young ladies. Uh, he does what he does, you know, exchanges numbers, blah, blah, blah. One young lady he really wants to hook up with, but she says, listen, I'm not in the street. You know, I've only don't know you and you would have to be my boyfriend for us to link up. So Norman decides to play the long game and go, hey, you know, let's, let's work on being boyfriend, girlfriend. Norman's in his, I believe, 40s, 50s. Let's say uh, the girl is in her 20s. So Norman's like, I would like a nice young lady like you. Let's start something. So they go back and forth, Norman, Norman goes home. They go back and forth for a period of time. And Norman's kind of like, hey, I would like you to be my girlfriend. You know, let's get to know each other more. Makes plans to come back now. They link up. He says, listen, I really want you to be my girlfriend. Blah, blah, blah. So they're together, they're boyfriend and girlfriend. They, they're together about maybe a month, maybe two. Norman has to go back to his life back in the States because you know he has jobs and everything in the States. In the meantime, they stay in touch, make all these plans, you know, blah, 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 for the future, the fantasies and all that, that good stuff. So, uh, Norman comes back. He has plans to come back, setting up his vacation to spend time with her, his, his young lady. What Norman doesn't know is that the young lady met another guy, and she really started to like him. She realized that this guy, whether it be Jose or another dude who she was just like, well, He's not about trying to buy me or, you know, he really likes me. I really like him. So she starts falling for another guy. Norman does not know this. Norman comes back and wonders why she's acting strange. She decides, well, I'm going to cut Norman off because I'm a, you know, she's a, she's a, I guess, an honorable type chick if you want to say that. But she's, fell, she's falling for this other guy. And she feels like, well, I'm not going to be with two guys and he's not the guy I want anyway. He was just a temporary thing. He spent his money on her or whatever. She got what she got out of him and she moved on for the guy she really likes. Well, Norman doesn't know this. So later, she goes and has a baby. She's with, with the guy. And um, Norman keeps trying to contact her. He wants to stay in touch with her. He has no idea that she's through, through the time they've been apart, she's gotten pregnant, had a baby. He has no clue. Well, Norman feels, hey, I want to work it out again. I would like to, I miss you, blah, blah, blah. So since she's going through her issue with her man at the time or her, her guy, whoever she's dealing with, she decides to start talking to Norman again. In her mind, well, I can't use this guy. I can't use my baby daddy. You know, he, does, he doesn't play these games. I can't, I can't lie to him and stuff. So I'm going to go get back to Norman, see if Norman will take care of me again. I guess that's her plan, whatever. But long story short, Norman falls for it. He goes, well, it's okay you had a baby. She, you know, she confesses to him. It's okay you had a baby. I miss you. I want to take care of you, blah, blah, blah. So what Norman does is he buys her a phone. She lost her phone. He buys her a phone. But what Norman also does is he puts the application in the phone that watches everything she does, all the pictures, all the text messages, basically a spy phone. He, so he's able to see everything she's doing with this phone. So Norman buys her the phone. They link back up. She's playing the hard to get role. She, you know, she's like, well, let's wait again. Let's be boyfriend and girlfriend before we're together again, blah, blah, blah. Norman finds it strange, but he's giving her the phone, hanging out with her, whatever. Norman goes back home. Well, as I said, he has the application. He's able to see everything she's doing. 
to Norman's disbelief, she's still in love with her baby daddy. Still talking to him every day, arguing and telling him how much she loves him. She's still talking to other guys, sending pictures. Norman's seeing all of this. It's basically like the application. Norman is able to see her phone. Everything she does, he sees it. Norman's kind of hurt because he really likes the girl. Well, what, what does Norman do? He confronts her. I see the messages. I've seen the pictures. I know you're still in love with your baby daddy. I know, you, I know you're doing wrong. You're not loyal to me, blah, blah, blah. Well, her response is, it's not me. It's my sister. She's using my phone. I got used to not having a phone. So she uses the phone, talks to her different boyfriends. It's not me. He goes, well, I've seen you and seen your pictures. She goes, no, she uses my pictures and talks to guys. Well, lo and behold, Norman falls for this. I'm sorry to laugh. So he falls for this. And he, he believes it. He's like, yeah, okay, I believe you. You wouldn't lie to me. I just saw the things in your phone. I thought it was you. Later, Norman bumps in to her. He doesn't tell her he's, he's coming down here. He bumps into her with another guy. That's not the baby daddy. And Norman is now confronted with the situation. What does Norman do? Norman loses his temper, gets in a bad situation. The reason I'm telling this story is don't be like Norman. If someone shows you who they are, believe them. If you don't want to believe it, enjoy the fantasy, live for the moment. When you go back home, forget all about it. Because I've seen a lot of Normans, and you know, I don't, I'm not one to warn people, I'm not into all that, because I don't get into these people's lives. I live my own life, I'm very focused on me, so it's like I don't have time for all of that. But it bothers me when I hear people talk and I see people go through these things that could have been avoided if you just enjoyed your vacation, enjoyed the moment, went home and just did what you had to do and got ready to come back, rather than trying to create something that's not there. Norman is a telltale story of a dude who, yes, he may be lonely in the States, looking for some affection, but he thought the woman he wanted was someone else that she wasn't. And then when it got proven to him over and over and over again, he kept going, not realizing that the more he allowed it, she kept doing it. Common story out here. Um, that's for women as well. Please don't get it messed up. We also have uh, Sharon. I'll call her Sharon. Norman and Sharon. Sharon's going through the same thing with her, her guy at the moment. You know, as it, it goes both ways. As we said, there's a Jose and a Maria. There's a Norman and a Sharon going through what they're going through. The opposite side of the spectrum, I would say. So this is just my story. You can choose to listen to it, choose to follow it. Some of you may be going through it right now at this moment. But, uh, you know, I always tell you guys informative stories and stuff that I've been through or other people have been through just so you guys get understanding of how things are. I love this country, I enjoy myself, but I'm never gonna tell you it's all peaches and cream. Stay tuned for the couple of videos that we went to the Campo. Excuse me, I hope it's not a lot of cursing. I might have to mute it, because I think I was cursing, we were drunk, having a good time. Uh, we went to the countryside, went to the Campo, went to the mountain, we were just having, having a ball. Uh, as you guys know, this paradise life, what I do, is just enjoying life in paradise, above and beyond Sasua. Hope to see you all soon. Shout to all you guys. Much love. More videos coming soon. Sorry to delay on the videos. I've been doing, going through a lot of stuff. been real busy. Uh, but got Super Bowl coming out. So everything be going. Shout to all you guys. Appreciate all the love. Shout to the group Paradise Life. We are doing some amazing things. Probably one of the best groups I've ever seen. And uh, keep doing your thing. Get the passport. Travel. Enjoy life. Mr. Flip Flop. I'm out. On oh, God, look at this bro. On oh, God, look at this bro. Y'all niggas ain't never been nowhere like this before. Don't let no motherfucker tell you that they gon' oh we going here, we going and no, you ain't going nowhere. This shit is like this is a one
This shit crazy. This shit crazy.